And we are now kicking off the autonomous period for qualification match number five. In these first 15 seconds, robots, of course, are still being controlled directly, but the value of the yellow power cells is doubled. So it's a good chance for these robots to establish an early lead in our match. Coming out of auto, the Blue Alliance does have a lead in 92 to 54. They were able to score five more power cells than the Red Alliance during the autonomous period. Collecting power cells from the playing field floor, it looks like there are two blue robots on that job, one red robot, and currently some scoring happening on both sides of the field. Blue Alliance stretching their lead here, 143 to 92. Brennan 4476 currently cleaning up for the Blue Alliance while their Alliance partner is down near the Blue Alliance sector, deploying more cells onto the playing field floor, trying to pick all of them up and ferrying them back across the field toward that Blue Alliance power port. There is no limit to the number of cells that these robots can hold in this match. So we'll see at least five power cells going up between the work of the Blue Alliance members, Taco Troll and Michael, adding plenty of points to that Blue Alliance lead. Just over one minute remaining in the match, Blue Alliance leads 204 to 146. Josh and Nick of the Red Alliance both working together now. Nicholas coming in behind them for some scoring of their own while their Alliance partners cycle back toward the loading station for the Red Alliance. With just one minute remaining, the Red Alliance is working quickly and working very hard to try to fight back and establish a closer score between these two alliances. More scoring going up for Red. They are trailing in the power cell count by just six power cells, and neither alliance has quite met the threshold for the additional ranking point. That ranking point again reached when we have 90 power cells scored. We are just 10 power cells away for the blue alliance, and all three of those blue robots are sitting in front of the blue power port, so they will surely meet that threshold. They now have their score breaks 300 points, and they have scored nearly 100 power cells with 20 seconds remaining in the match. The Red Alliance also ensures that they will score at least one ranking point at the conclusion of the match. They have scored 93 power cells. Just 10 seconds remaining. It looks like all three red robots in good position underneath the shield generator switch. This does have a chance to swing the match in favor of the Red Alliance. Up to 75 points for the hang and possibly an additional 15 if that switch is level at the conclusion of the match. Final results for match number five, coming down to just two points at the end of the match, but still in favor of the Blue Alliance, 378 to 376. A remarkable endgame by the Red Alliance, but it is just not quite enough to overcome the demanding early lead from the Blue Alliance established during Autonomous. Both alliances, though, do earn the additional ranking point for scoring uh, 90 power cells or more, and the Red Alliance scores the shield gem generator operational ranking point for having that 90 point end game at the conclusion of the match. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.